Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hexagonal Nexel, who's brought out quite a few mods now, he's sent over his version of the Enterprise H. Now he's reworked some of the weapons and he's also added new sound effects and he's rebalanced the ship as well. And now it's weird the ship, it looks just like a stretched Enterprise E Sovereign class, but it is much, much bigger. The only way it works in my head canon is that it's either an alternate reality or they really wanted to make a classical looking ship at some point. I'm not sure. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up against a standard Federation fleet to begin with, just to give you an idea of its power. So here we go. Okay, now I believe this ship is fitted with transphasic phasers. So here we go. So we got standard. Whoa! Okay, so that's with the standard quantums. We have quantum type 12 torpedoes as well. Now, what are they going to do? Pesky nebula classes. Yeah, they're not going to stand a chance in nebula classes, are they? We can also fire those torpedoes in the front, just for fun. They regenerate. Here we go. Advanced quantums. Oh. We also have something called the Mars Torpedo. An interesting name. Oh. Right. Should we try the Mars Torpedo? I'm pretty sure if we collapse the shields, these phases that we have are very, very, oh, very effective. It seems to fire a larger beam in the center. Oh gosh, oh dear, what have I done? Collision! Oh no. This is why it's so hard to get Starship insurance these days. So these are the Mars torpedoes. Ah, uh, that's not a standard galaxy class, that's a Dominion War refit galaxy class, so more of a challenge. I do think I prefer the Quantum Torpedo Type 12. Alright, so you get the idea with that against the standard fleet. So what I thought I'd do is put it up against a real challenge, the Armoured Voyager. Now, are our shields going to be strong enough to withstand transphasic torpedoes? Ooh. Whoa, no! <laughs> so yeah, um, it is a really neat ship, and I don't know, I mean, I'm still not a big fan of the visual look of it, but I do like the weaponry it has. It's very maneuverable, and it's very large. Cool mod. Thanks for sending that over, Hexagonal. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.